In this lesson, we're going to talk about scene scale and uh, explain why scene scale is important in Maxwell Render as opposed to standard render engines where it really doesn't matter that much. But uh, trust me, in Maxwell, it makes all the difference. As you can see, I have a few objects here that will help me demonstrate this uh, scene scale. And um, among them, I have this uh, scanned 3D model of Horseman, which is really nice and detailed. And uh, let me ask you a simple question. Can you tell me how large or how small this model is just by looking at it? In other words, is it a giant statue or is it a really tiny figurine? Well, you really can't tell until you select that object and read out the size here. And as you can see, it's uh, more of a figurine with uh, 32 point uh, something centimeters in height. So some of you may tell, well, what's the big deal about the size? Who cares? Well, that is true if you will be using a standard render engine, which really doesn't care about units, but Maxwell cares. So let me illustrate this by a simple bulb and uh, I will utilize my exceptional painting skills, as you can see. So imagine that this is a light bulb and uh, let's actually deselect this. So it uh, radiates light and uh, regardless of the size of this guy, if you create a standard Sino 4D light, it would pretty much illuminate that uh, model really well. So it really doesn't care if uh, this is a giant statue or a tiny figurine, but uh, let's say that a standard light bulb is uh, around uh, 60 watts or 75, it really doesn't matter, but uh, we will use that value to make a point here. By following a logic from a render engine that doesn't care for units, I could maybe substitute this guy. So let's hide it for a moment and uh, enable this planet. So in standard render engine, this light bulb, this 60 watts light bulb would be able to illuminate the surface of the planet, which is physically impossible. So in standard render engine, everything is an approximation. But in Maxwell, since it is aware of these units, this wouldn't happen. But it wouldn't happen only if we instruct Maxwell Render that this is a giant object by setting its proper size. So the planet is obviously not uh, 26 point something centimeters in size. So as far as Maxwell is concerned, if you would create a 60 watt light bulb, this planet would actually be a model of a planet, not a real planet. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And no matter what you do, Maxwell will always give you a physically correct result, not an approximation. It will give you the real deal. So not only that you can use light bulbs with power value, such as this, you can even use data from manufacturers to create a specific light bulb. And that is absolutely fantastic. That is why you always want to use a reasonable scale. So if you're doing a tiny figurine, use units that are really close to that. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be close enough. But uh, for example, if you're creating a human figure, a real life human figure, it should probably be expressed in meters or feet as opposed to miles or kilometers or something like that. So use your common sense and... Uh, logic because otherwise you could get in a lot of trouble and asking yourself why your scene is being rendered completely black even though you have a, a light source in your scene so that can be a little bit frustrating but trust me by using this physically correct approach you can render things that are stunningly realistic to sum it up Maxwell really doesn't settle for close enough approximations and it will always give you the real deal. And um, that is why you want to stay in reasonable scale no matter what you do. 
because it will greatly impact how materials and environment will look once you render the image. And uh, I hope this is beginning to clarify things and uh, that physically correct paradigm is the backbone of Maxel render and uh, that is pretty much how it works. So let's take a look at the physical camera in our next lesson which also relies on that physically correct concept of a real life 